Muy buenas tardes, caballero. ¿Es usted el profesor? Así es. <risa> Tiene usted un coche precioso. One of the things that I mostly noticed in this last season is actually the ability of the professor to persuade others. Not only does he need to convince his own team, but also his enemies in order to carry on with the last phase of the plan. This is exactly what I'll be exploring during this breakdown, the way the professor uses his persuasion skills in order to get what he wants. I'll be pointing out the techniques and principles that he employs so that you can also use them in your favor, hopefully in an ethical way, or at least you'll be skillful enough to detect when someone else might be using manipulation against you. By the way, most people use manipulation all the time without us knowing. In any case, you'll see exactly how persuasion works and what you can do with it. Let's start with authority. The professor certainly commands authority. <laughs> According to this principle, we are predisposed to let ourselves be influenced by someone who represents an authority. It's more an aura of credibility and status, and it could have a powerful effect over our own decisions. We tend to believe that whoever is in a leadership position has more knowledge, more experience, and more right to give an opinion. For example, think of a renowned doctor giving a diagnose or a content creator with lots of followers giving advice about how to gain more subscribers. And this is exactly what the professor represents. After all, he was the genius behind the first robbery where they printed their own money, something no one else had done. This is why, if you want to command authority to influence others, you need to grow your reputation in an area or profession where you excel. In which area do you consider yourself being skillful enough so that others will see that? It could be something as simple as being good with numbers, reason why your friends always come to you so that you can help them with math. Or maybe you're someone that loves to travel and people are always asking for your guidance related to places they could visit. Maybe you're a very social guy with very important connections, reason why everyone asks you for an introduction. Look for ways to make your skills, knowledge or contacts evident. Nowadays, social media makes it really easy to make this happen. Just upload content related to the things you're good at, as in the example from above. If it's related to traveling, then upload photos of places you've visited. If they are contacts, then upload photos that show that you are friends with them. Or if it's math, you can maybe show people how you solve complex problems or record a video helping others. Be creative to find ways to gain more authority in an area and soon everyone else will approach you for guidance. This is how you grow your reputation. Now we'll talk about coherence. The coherence principle says that people will be much more open to accept your influence if what you propose corresponds to the compromises and affirmations that they themselves have made in front of other people. In other words, we tend to show behaviors that are coherent to our past behaviors. We can even lie to ourselves when we promise ourselves that we will do this or that. But we hate to lose face and we'll do anything in our power to look coherent. For example, if you are known to be an honest person, you won't want people to think otherwise. Especially if someone points out that that's the reason why he or she needed your honest opinion over something. This principle is used by the professor to convince Sierra to find the gold. ¿Una voluntad de qué? Necesito que encuentres el oro. ¿Qué? Con Benjamin. ¿Cómo? Necesito que encuentres el oro. Ya. Ahora. Just by pointing out how remarkable her skills are, he manages to prove to her that this was a job that only she could accomplish. No one else qualified as much as her to find the most wanted man. Solo no lo sé. que encontrar a unos ladrones es lo que llevas haciendo toda la vida y en eso eres la mejor. No me hagas la pelota, Sergio. Encontraste a mí, que soy el tipo más buscado de toda España. 
Alicia, la Interpol estuvo buscando meses y meses por todo el planeta intentando organizarme. Y no lo consiguió, lo hiciste tú. En horas. If you wish to use this principle to your advantage, you will need to show the person you're trying to convince how coherent he or she has been to past behaviors. Maybe you need a favor from someone. For this, you could just mention how much he or she has helped you in the past when you needed it. You may need someone that listens and you could point out how good of a listener he is compared to others. If you need someone to make a fast and impulsive decision, before communicating this, you should try to make the other individual define himself as spontaneous, impulsive, or adventurous. So that way he feels more coherent with that behavior. You'll only need to mention some quality that you perceive in others so that they are more receptive to your influence. Let's talk about sympathy now. Te quiero mucho, Tokio. Mucho. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're interested in improving your people's skills. This is why this principle will turn into an extension of your abilities. We all love to meet nice people, and the truth is that we are easily influenced by people that we like or trust. Es un sí o un no, y se decide hoy. Ahora. ¿No crees que a él le hubiera gustado que volvieras a ser feliz? And less by people that we don't like. According to the halo effect, people that are physically attractive are usually unconsciously associated with other positive attributes like honesty, transparency, and success. But sympathy is not always associated with beauty. It could be linked to familiarity when someone feels that the other person is like us. It means that we feel that the others are more similar to us than we thought. This is something that we actively look for when we meet someone for the first time. We want to find something familiar. In the case of the professor, we must admit that he is a really nice guy. And this is something that the series shows us in different moments. Maybe it's his social awkwardness that makes us feel identified with our own flaws, or maybe it's how he worries about problems that would also affect others the same way. Or maybe tastes or goals in common. The key here is to show ourselves as someone that others would see as familiar. To recap, just by identifying these behaviors, you'll be capable of neutralizing them when someone uses them to manipulate you. To know if this is the case, you only need to ask yourself if it's a request you would usually accept under normal circumstances. On the other hand, using the sympathy, coherence, and authority principle will help you get what you want with ease. At least, you'll be capable of putting people in a more receptive state than before applying these principles. And of course, if you want to learn how to influence and impact people in a positive way, let me introduce you to my coaching program, Socially Amazing. Here, I'll teach you the process to start incredible interactions from scratch, all the way from learning how to get rid of your social anxiety to meeting and getting to know the people you always wanted to meet. You'll learn how to start and continue any conversation and also how to create and cultivate quality connections. Along the process, you'll experience my individualized guidance where I'll help you stay motivated along the way. You'll get invaluable feedback about your progress and will also provide you with the necessary resources for you to reach your goals. Here are some testimonials from satisfied customers. A very practical coaching program that delivers on its promise for every professional that's looking to improve his confidence and move up the corporate ladder. The world moves because of our relationships with others. And in this area, I can assure you that Matthias has a lot of practical knowledge and he is very professional. He has dedicated many years to polish his skills and to perfect the practical way he teaches. Matthias is capable of helping us get from where we are to where we want to be, something that will reflect in our personal and professional success. So you just need to click the link in the description to schedule a 15 minute free call with me so you can get to know me and so that you can find out how I can help you. And remember that you are amazing.